lovely Florida sun. Oh yeah. We're waiting for the monorail. Because we made it. Because we made it. We are legally in the country. And we're here. It's so good to be back and so weird to be back at the same time. It's been four years. It's been three and a bit years since we've even been in the States. <laughs> yes, darling? Huh? Yeah, we're just going this way because Daddy's going to get the keys to the car. And then we go over to the car and then we'll drive to Disney World, okay? So that, that just means that it's just past six o'clock here. Oh, look at you two. Who's excited? We're going to go see Mickey tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? I'm going to go into Disney World now. Oh, yeah. And go to the hotel. I know, he's a monkey. So every counter in the car rental uh, in the airport is empty, except the one we're going to, Dollar and Thrifty. And it's rammed, like rammed. So there was a little sign outside that said if there's something to do with like Thrifty, Blue Chip, whatever that is, go to the booth inside. So that's what I'm doing. Carl's waiting in the other queue. We'll see if it saves us any time. No, that doesn't work. Unless your name's on the screen, they can't see you there. So we're heading back in. <laughs> it was really nice to stretch my legs after a nine and a half hour flight. So I'm not complaining. 30 minutes in this queue and he's not even halfway through it. It's been almost an hour and there's only eight people now in front. <sighs> Never ever rent a car with thrifty or dollar at, at Orlando International Airport. Learn from our mistake. One hour and ten minutes in the queue and we're finally the third from the front. I've done a lot of laps. It is nice to stretch my legs and I generally try and put a positive spin on everything but this is kind of ridiculous. And the queue is still huge. talking to a lady who said there was another English family um, who got out of this queue at five o'clock this evening and they got in it at half past one which is three and a half hours in a queue just to get a car it is crazy and they finally conked out it is now it's coming up half seven Florida time, half 11 UK time. Carl is at the desk now. So I'm just waiting for him to come over so we can go get in the car. It is still a bit light outside, so. I just really hope we get there and it's still a little bit light. I don't think it's going to be. We shall see. It's been an hour and a half in this queue now. Well, we finally made it. It was, what time was it when we left the airport? About 10 to eight. So I think it was from touchdown at five past five to leaving the airport at about 10 to eight. Yeah, it was quite long, but everything else has been very, very smooth. And I actually felt quite nervous about, is this actually gonna happen? So the only slow bit has been the car rental, but we're in a decent car. We managed to get everything in and the boys are sound asleep in the back and we are now on our way to Disney World for the 10th time of me saying that today, but we're actually, actually about to get there. <laughs> we're gonna get into the room, put the boys in the pram, and then have a little wander around Port Orleans. We've got to pick up our magic bands. I know we've got a gift voucher to pick up, and then we can just go back to the room, get these two to bed, and we can kind of unpack and get chilled and then just play tomorrow by ear. We know we're going to Magic Kingdom because we've got a Magic Kingdom pass booked. Ooh, Disney Springs exit three. I think it's that one we're getting off at. The Chevrolet Malibu that we got, there was nothing wrong with it at all. However, the key did cause us a problem. We think it needed a new battery and the car quite often said the key wasn't there. We also struggled to unlock the doors 90% of the time. We did report it to Thrifty Dollar when we dropped the car back, but they really didn't seem to care. So I've got no doubt that car went back out to somebody else. Nothing checked. Another major issue we didn't notice until we got home, when we checked the little receipt that they gave us when we picked up the car, they charged us another $363 for additional things that they should not have charged us for. We're still trying to get the money back now. 
On a more positive note, the car was really, really clean and we really did have an amazing trip and the car never let us down with the whole 15 nights that we had it for during our stay at Walt Disney World. If you want to check out the rest of the vlog series, then the links are below. Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you've had a similar issue with Rifter Dollar, then please let us know in the comments below. For more tips and tricks, make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.